Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry about this lighting. It is like, what is it, 4pm? It's like half past 4 in the evening and this is the only time that I've got at the moment to record this video. <laughs> so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a full face of Poundland makeup because I've been wanting to do this video for a long time and I thought that it would be good fun to just try it out, see what it's like. So I bought a few things. I didn't have everything that I would usually like wear or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, but I got everything that I could. So I'm going to use my own makeup brushes and sponge, by the way, because they didn't have everything that I wanted. Um, Okay, so they didn't have primer, so we're just going to go straight in with foundation. So let's just put my hair back a second. And then we are going to dive straight in to the makeup gallery, which is what their makeup range is called. Um, gorgeous, flawless, long lasting foundation um, in the shade warm porcelain 2 natural long lasting foundation with a flawless matte finish enriched with vitamin E and UVA slash UVB filters for added protection let's see I'm hoping this is going to be the right colour it's kind of like it feels really watery <laughs> to be honest but Let's just add it on. I'm hoping this is the right shade. This is the lightest shade they had in the store that I went into. So, oh dear. Have I put on too much onto my face? You can never have too much foundation, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah, they didn't have, it seemed quite popular because they didn't have much there. So, let's just grab my beauty blender and see what happens because it's probably a bad idea to use a beauty blender for this because it's just gonna dry it all up not dry it all up suck it all up even but we can always add more if we need to okay blending it's blending quite nice let's just grab it they're just blending nice. Um, as for coverage, it's not actually that bad, to be honest. Uh, um, the colour is too bad. It's it's very very light. Um, and yeah. I think if you wanted a more full look you'd have to put on like a couple of layers but you know just for a natural look I mean I think my sponge picked up most of it to be honest let's just pop on another layer just because we can I mean, it is very very watery this is the thing it comes out kind of I don't know how to explain it it comes out like it's a cream but when you actually feel it it's really watery so I don't like the texture too much but it feels nice and light on the skin so there's good and bad things there um, but it blends out quite nice. I don't know if that's whether because it's literally being sucked up by the sponge or <laughs> if that is because it's blending out nice. I don't know. I'm not expecting much because obviously everything here was like a pound so you know let's just you know. So second layer is done and that kind of looks like I've got a really natural foundation on which you know it's not too bad 
Right, they don't have any brow products, so what I'm going to do instead is they had eyeshadow palettes, which are from the Maximore range. Um, these were actually two pound, um, but it's still it's still pound. Um, so I picked up. They had a few ones, but I just picked up the most colourful one. Let's just try and get into this um, a second and just see what happens shall we okay so in here oh my gosh you have got let's just take it out so here is your palette I, like i said i chose all the more the more colorful one because they had other ones there as well um, it's got 28 shadows in here and it comes with the actual sponge applicators. You've got two of those. And then this is what the palette looks like. Um, I'm not going to, you know, rate the pigment to be very good, but you never know. Um, so I'm going to dip into this for eyebrows. I'm going to go in with... I think I'm going with this shade up here, this really dark shade, the second one in. Um, just to see how this goes. Oh my gosh, what have I got on this? <laughs> okay, I might just have to go with my normal brush for my brows instead of that one. Okay, so let's just dip into this and see what happens shall we I'm just gonna try and sort of fill them in just a little bit just to see what happens just to you know I don't ever use a powder for my brows because I don't know I just don't like using a powder for my brows I like to use like a pomade you can see a little bit you know, it's picking it up and stuff. It's definitely got a pigment there. Okay, so that's one brow. Hmm. There's definitely pigment there, which is good. This is what we like. We like to see this. And that is the other brow done. So brows, to be honest, not too bad. I mean, they probably wouldn't last all day. But, you know, you can't <laughs> hate it too much, I guess. Okay, let's 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 kind of use the actual um brushes shall we for the eyeshadow so let's go in i'm just trying to think of like what kind of um color i might do no i'm not going to use the spongy things they creep me out a little bit i'm going to go with my normal brush Let's go in with this sort of pinkish shade right at the bottom here. Let's just see how that looks. I've got it on my brush. <laughs> just as a base colour. I can I can kinda see it. But there's not too much there. You have to probably really pack it in there to get some. Okay, let's go in with. Just trying to think because of what lips it would go with. <laughs> let's go in with this dark, dark. Oh, you can't even see a really dark brown shade, isn't here. 
just give me that. I'm gonna pop that in my crease. See what happens when this goes on. Okay. I see. I see pigment there. Let's just try building that up a little. Ooh. It blends out really nicely. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it does. It goes on. It goes on okay. I mean, you've got to obviously build it up a bit, but it goes on quite nice. It feels smooth. You know, it doesn't feel horrible on my eyes. You know, so my shadows feel a bit weird. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> okay, let's blend that out a little bit, and then let's go in with. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with a neutral look, even though I chose like a colourful palette. <laughs> Let's go in with this shade right here. I'm not going to use my finger for this one. That actually feels really smooth on my finger. And let's just pat that on. Oh wow, big one. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> um, Okay, smoky eye. I see you. I see you. I mean, the pigment is so much better when you dip your finger in. Oh my gosh. Poundland. Let's do this. Okay, right. Then I'm going to just blend that out a little bit with the same brush I used before. Oh. Smoky eyes are looking good. Okay, now that we're done with that palette, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. Now this is a matte bronzer. I'm gonna use this to contour. This is the Matte Light 1, super soft matte bronzer for a natural glow. Contains vitamin E. Um, so let's just go in with a bit of this. I'm not expecting much. I can't, I can't do anything on my skin. Like, I'm dipping in. Okay, girl. Okay, I can kind of see it. Okay, we're gonna have to really like dip into this one. Okay. Okay, so pigment is um, not good at all for this. I know I'm using a fluffy brush, but this is just my normal contour brush. Okay, so you've got to like really build this up. This, um, and I have been going in with it, <laughs> and there's just not much of a difference. Okay, I'm so sorry about the lighting, by the way, guys. It's just crazy. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Let me just adjust this lighting just a little bit. Ooh. Okay. So, next up. Um, concealer. Now, this is their concealer stick. It's called Hide and Chic Concealer. Natural coverage. In the shade Ivory 1. And it's a concealer stick, which I hate. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try it out anyway. So I'm gonna pop that 
under my eyes. Oh, it feels so rough. Like, it doesn't feel very creamy or anything. Like, it kind of feels like one of those ones where you need to like warm it up a little bit first. Ooh. There's definitely, you can definitely see this one. Let's see how it blends out. I feel like I might be here for 10 years trying to blend this out. Um, there was no setting powder either, so I've got nothing to set this with, which is great. Um, I don't know whether it was just the fact that they didn't have any, or that they don't make any, or whatever, but I didn't see any there. So, let's just... I mean, obviously I just picked up what was available to me if you go into your local store and there was loads more then you know I can't help it I just picked up what was available in my store when I was in there this is looking horrible on camera <laughs> okay yeah girl this is not looking good at all let's go in with some eyeliner next okay so what I've done is I've now put on my big light and I'm so sorry about this line here my, my camera's well, let's see if I can get rid of it okay kind of got rid of it <laughs> so sorry about it though um, as you can see this concealer it's just not good okay none of it is good it didn't blend out very well at all but I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner. Um, it had a liquid eyeliner there. They had glitter ones, version of one. They did have other one there, but I didn't like the look of it. <laughs> so I just picked up um, just a pencil liner. Let's just see how this, oh God. Pencil liners are not good for me. I'm not even going to try and do a wing because, you know. Oh, this hurts. Like, it hurts. <laughs> okay, I like no. Just no. Just no. In fact, I do not rate that at all. That looks horrible. Okay, um, moving on to what's left. Um, it's Clara. Um, this is the Turn Up the Volume and Define Mascara in the shade Black 2. With lengthening fibres, this mascara creates length, precise definition and separation was it vitamin B5. Now you guys know, if you've been watching my videos recently, that I already have a, where is it to? Let me find it. Um, I already have a mascara of theirs, there we go, which is a Maxim More, which I love, okay? Which is pretty good. So the Maxim More range needs to be quite good because they're also the ones who did the, the um, eyeshadow but this is their actual makeup range this one is so here is the brush interesting looking I can't get over this like it looks okay ish but on camera it looks horrible let's just see what this mascara does for me okay honey so far, so good. Okay. That is um, surprisingly good. Let's just do the other side. A little bit clumpy there. 
it's fine. We can we can deal with that, you know. Okay, lashes are done. Not bad. I actually like that mascara. Okay. And moving on, I was gonna say the final item. It's not the final item. The final item is not here. Yet. <laughs> moving on to lips. Um I thought this was a liquid lipstick. It's not, it's a lip gloss. Um this is the shine on I should have read it really, but I just like the colour and picked it up. Um, intense colour and shine lip gloss in the shade Nice Nude 1. Um, moisturising formula for a bold and glossy colour. So, oh. Oh, it's got that, oh. This, this looks thick. Oh, girl. Uh-uh. Oh no! This is not a good colour for me. Oh dear lord. This is not a good colour. Let's just whack on some more. Why not? Doesn't help that my lips are dry. This is like proper sticky and thick lip gloss and it looks horrible okay <laughs> I'm like ill it kind of matches my skin tone but it's horrible it feels horrible ugh okay last item is Highlight. I'm so glad they does that they do highlighter. Um, this is called the Glow with the Flow Cream Highlighter. I didn't see any powder highlighter. This is a cream highlighter. So, if I get it open, what shade is this? Bloom Two. I only seen Sheen. I only seen it this one. Um, comes in a little little one. Okay, it's rather smooth. I'm going in with this because I'm not expect. Whoa. I'm not, I wasn't expecting too much, but let's just pat it on and see. I'm just gonna go in because we know I like on my highlight. Okay. This foundation and everything is just. It's, it's not going well. Okay. We're on. Um, oh gosh, there's a streak there. Hold on. Let me close that up. Let's just pat this in. Slash around. Oh gosh, it's not blending out very well at all. Okay. So, it's kind of, it, it's, it's there, but it, yeah, it's not, it's not that great guys, it's not that great. Um, so my overall review, so this is the uh, finished look. Um, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Uh, the lip gloss, I hate. Oh, I didn't burn that foundation very well. The foundation itself isn't too bad coverage wise. I just think I like picked out the wrong shade. I kind of look a bit orange. Um, concealer, I really don't like. Um, lip gloss no it's yeah it's not too good foundation you know I guess if I had the right shade I guess I would probably get on with it for just very simple quick 
look very natural look mascara oh my gosh mascara i like it i like this mascara um it is very natural looking um i do like that that will be in my makeup bag bronzer hmm. i don't know i might keep it i might not i'm not too sure eyeshadow i definitely write um i think this is really good and it's actually got really good pigment in it um eyeliner so that is my full face of poundland makeup um overall you can try it if you want to oh my gosh my beauty blender um look at how orange it is that's how orange it made my face okay um, yeah I don't know a 4 out of 10 maybe overall and I'm not sure but the best thing out of all of it was probably the mascara because the highlighter and everything it just wasn't it's not good um so yeah <laughs> if you like this video please give a big thumbs up and subscribe and stuff and I'm just lost for words as to how orange I kind of look right now. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!